it's been bubble time and looking a bit scruffy. If you look at my YouTube over the bubble, there's all sorts of different levels of tidiness and presentation, which follow the belief that uh, you get on and do it. And as long as your content and your presentation quality of the way you come across in terms of your genuineness is right, people will trust you rather than having the flashiest lighting and so forth. For different audiences, there's different dress standards are required. But also we can insert images or actually videos here, or we can actually use the real TV if we want to be traditional tech and do presentations and start talking about what's happening over here. And you can see this. Over the bubble, there's all sorts of different levels of tidiness and presentation, which follow the belief that uh, when I'm looking to do a presentation from here, a lapel mic was what I have and would use because as I move around, you might see that the quality of the sound starts to suffer unless I have a lapel mic. So I can control my screen from here, change to a different site. I have to really focus the camera on here if we want better quality. And so it is about inserting electronically the picture in here and the site is really often easier because with the technology it's easy you can have one screen broadcasting into into a box which i can move around the screen wherever i want that powerpoint or in this case websites and i can control that all from here all by myself all right let's look at behind the scenes what we have there got the main monitor and lighting over here and the big ring lighting over there. The green screen gets less use, but that is where in the stand-up desk where it's a great option. A few interesting things if we look at the, don't look at the outfit, what's being worn here. Up here we have a little GoPro so you can cut between different cameras that can be on a different position. There's another camera in the laptop there, which is also available if we open up the laptop. And for chat, extra screen over there. And here's the interesting bit. If we go and look at for controlling, the iPad is used for controlling music and different things and can chop. But the most exciting bit is the ironing board. I haven't found anything that will beat the ironing board for positioning the iPad and then we have the real screen if we happen to be using the real screen and we have the board table should we have a board meeting mini board table different lighting here background lighting that is the setup and the love the movement of this gimbal for getting different angles of the studio have a couple of mic options we have the, that mic which can go on a stand or the lapel mic is the best. And this phone can be used as a extra live streaming option. The software allows you to jump to this camera, which could be set up on a tripod, have the various tripods for a smartphone. That's a little bracket there to put the smartphone as an extra camera to live stream. And then finally, we can have a basic green screen or a studio looking thing. Can also put PowerPoint slides in there that rotate through so we can see what's happening in the background. There's numerous different options depending on what the requirements are. But this is a really easy way with Zoom. It works really well to have a different background or we can just adjust it pretty quickly. And let's throw in a different background now and let's see the apartment all right we're at the apartment or else what if we want to go somewhere else that um it's not so great a look but um that's the same way we just drop one slide and move on to the next slide so great variety is possible